So I still see a lot of people out there not using large language models like Gemini 2.5 Pro here, uh, not optimally. So today I just wanted to go to a workflow that is working superb for me. Uh, it might be a bit different than you're used to, but I suggest giving this a shot. So the app I thought we could make today is an AI video to video app. Basically, we're just gonna keep it quite simple. So we're gonna upload a video, uh, I say like max 10 seconds, eight seconds. And from that video, we're gonna let, grab a last frame using FFmpeg. We're gonna enter a prompt and we're gonna include that last frame as an image reference. From that, we're gonna generate an AI video using Kling AI. I really like that model, but you can pick like Google VO2 or something too. Uh, then we're gonna merge the uploaded video with the AI video to make it like a smooth transition. And then we're gonna return the new video that is kind of combining our uploaded video with our AI video in one video, right? Uh, we might also add some music on top of that, we will see. But that is basically my ID here now, initially. Uh, we're gonna run this on Gemini 2.5 Pro, best model ever made, if you ask me. So I'm just gonna go through kind of the workflow I use for this, because uh, I think a lot of people can actually learn something from this. So the first thing I always do is I like to spend like five, 10 minutes preparing the project. So what I always do is, uh, let's say our app, we know we need uh, some information about the Kling AI. We might need some text generation so we can use Gemini AI for that maybe. We need FFmpeg, but I think Gemini 2.5 knows FFmpeg. If we're gonna use some video, we might need some documentation around that API. So I always start by gathering documentation. And uh, I just fire up cursor, I create a file docs. Uh, here I have a Kling AI MD, so we're gonna fill out some documentation about this. So I'm just gonna head over to replicate, where they host this Kling AI model. Here we can generate uh, up to 10 seconds with an input image. That is perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go down here and I'm gonna find, uh, they have some documentation here, I'm gonna find that. I'm just gonna click on the API, right? And here we have documentation, I'm gonna do Python. So I'm just gonna start by grabbing this from get started, like this. And I'm just gonna put that unstructured into here. It doesn't matter too much because these LLMs are very good at unstructured data. Uh, we can grab uh, learn more here. So basically we try to collect as much information as possible right into here. We have some parameters we need, schemas, input schemas. And yeah, I think that's basically enough for now. So if we need any more, we can go look that up. Um, for music, I might wanna use Sonato. So I just gonna go to the API. I'm gonna find the documentation, right? Here's our documentation. So I just grab this, put it into our musicgen.md. I also went to Gemini, into their documentation and over to text generation. I just grab this and put everything into MD file here. So now we have some, at least some starting documentation. We can feed our model here. So what I like to do now is I just reveal this in my finder. I just go to Gemini and I put these three files into my context window. And that will actually, it might seem a bit wasteful to spend time on preparing the project, but I think you will have a return on investment by doing this, by uh, minimizing errors and debugging you have to do if you gather enough documentation to actually fulfill this. Uh, but of course, there are some documentation you don't have so the FFmpeg here is that we're gonna rely on the Gemini 2.5 model to fill out kind of what we don't know how our app will work right. The next step now is of course gonna do our prompt. Uh, so I also like to spend a bit of time on setting up at least the initial prompt. So let me just go write that and we can go through that together and then send this. So here's the prompt I wrote for our app. I want to create a simple video to video app today. Here are the feature requirements. The user is gonna upload the MP4 file, max 10 seconds in dash video, slash video, so we're gonna store it there. We use FFmpeg to grab the last image frame from the video because we need that in the input. Store this temporarily in images. Use the, the user prompts, the Kling AI model from Replicate API and adds the last image frame to generate a new AI video with an eight second duration. That's fine. We could do 10 seconds too here. Uh, we can do, 
yeah, 10, that's fine. The generated air video is stored in just videos. Then we're gonna use the Sonato API to generate some music tracks with the parameters instrumental set to true. And we have some tags, uplifting, meditative, chill. The music track is stored in directory music. Finally, then we're gonna merge the uploaded video and the generated video and the music into a new video and store it in the directory videos. Write the code to create this app. So let's just copy this now and we can go back to Gemini. Now we're just gonna feed in this. Uh, I think we also want to add here uh, my API keys are stored in .env, okay? So I think that's fine. Now we have the context, we have our prompt. So let's just run this. And hopefully we'll get some Python code here and we can build out our front end for this uh, afterwards. Okay, so we have a response from Gemini 2.5 here. We have a setup, so we're gonna create a folder, that's fine. Uh, but let's do this. So we need some subdirectories, env and uh, an app.py. I think we're just gonna do this. The other thing we can do ourselves. So I um, can just use cursor for this. Just select the agent, Claude, and let's do send. So hopefully this creates some subdirectories for us here. Uh, image, music, and video. Perfect, we got that. And we're gonna create a .env and an app.py, was it that? App.py, dot, dot .py, <laughs> like uh, this, okay. And then we're gonna install some dependencies for our setup, so just bring up our terminal. Okay, so I put my dependency in requirements.txt, we can just install this, I pretty much had this anyway. Uh, let's continue down here. Uh, we're gonna populate our .env file. Let's do that. So let's just populate this by this. Okay, so we need a replicate token, Sonato token. We can fix that afterwards. Let's continue down here. So here's our code for python.app. So I'm just gonna grab this, app.py. Okay. So I'm just gonna go grab the API keys we need now and then we're gonna see how this works and we're gonna look at how to run this. So we're gonna place a short video in the videos directory. Uh, let's just run through this, we need to prompt it. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this works on the one shot or if you have to do any adjustments here. Okay, so let's do python app.py. Uh, enter the video name file, yeah, that's gonna be cliff.mp4, right? Okay, so we got the last frame here, perfect. Yeah, that's correct. Enter the prompt, guy jumps off the cliff into C. Let's try that. Okay, so now we are running the video generation with the prompt, guy jumps off cliff using the last frame. Perfect, this looks good. So what I'm looking forward to seeing now is that after we generate the video, we need to create the music and then we need to merge everything together. So that's gonna be interesting to see if that works now. We can just create our front end and our app is pretty much ready to go without any big issues here. Okay, so you can see now our video is ready and now we are actually sending some tasks to Sonato to create our music. We are generating that. So when that is complete, finally, hopefully, we can just merge everything together, okay? And let's see if it works. Okay, so you can see we got some merging failure here. Uh, we need to fix that. So I'm just gonna head back to Anthropic, not Anthropic, Gemini. Let's paste in our error. Let's uh, fix this, right? Because uh, we are quite dependent on it. We got the video, we can look at that, that's fine. But we really want the music to be merged. But let's watch the video now without this. So this is me now, of course. And now here the AI video comes. Okay, that was a bit unrealistic, but pretty cool though. <laughs> uh, so you can kind of see it was a very nice transition here between my video and the uploaded video. So that is the idea behind this. Uh, so let's check Gemini here now. Okay, so the error log is helpful here, the problem. So let's find the solution. Okay, here's the solution. So let's just uh, use cursor to fix this. Uh, we can just paste in this and let's do update my code with uh, this, something like this. 
So I like to sometimes it's faster just to use cursor to update the, the additional debugging from Gemini because of course you can go in yourself and fix it but uh, I think this is very helpful to just do it like this. So hopefully now with this fix we can actually merge this together. Okay perfect so now we have completed the merging great we have a video here called final. So this is probably gonna be the music and the video. Uh, so let me just set uh, some audio on this. Okay, that was not very good, was it? Uh, something was a bit off there. No, I just didn't see it. I thought the clip started before that. We end in the air here. Uh, but yeah, it's working, right? So the app is working. Now we have every feature we wanted. Uh, so now I think we need to move into the, um, the front end part because I want a simple front end where we can upload a video, do the prompt and then uh, send everything and get uh, maybe the URL or displaying the video that is generated back. So again I'm gonna head back to Gemini and do some prompting. So again I'm just gonna drag my py, uh, app.py file here just as context. So we have everything up to date. Uh, let's do a simple front prompt here to get uh, a simple front end. So I'm just gonna keep it simple. My app is now working. Now I need a front end where the user can upload the video, enter the prompt, get the merged final output uh, to be playable in the browser. I just put in local 3000, generate the front end for my app. So now we're just gonna run this and hopefully we'll get some simple instructions how to create a simple front end. And this is something you can expand upon later if you wanted to do this very well. But for now, we're gonna keep it simple and see how this turns out. Okay, so now we got like a new structure for our project. So I just went ahead, I created exactly this structure here. Good. Now we're just gonna keep following the instructions. We need to install Flask, right? That's very easy. Let's do this, okay. And then we need to update my dependencies. I'm gonna add flask. Okay, further down, we need to refactor uh, our logic. So we're creating video processing.py. So I'm just gonna grab this and I'm gonna fill out every single thing we need now. And then we're gonna try this to run this as a front end app instead of just running this uh, in our terminal. Okay, so how to run this now? We're just gonna run the flask app, Python uh, flask app. We're gonna go to localhost 3000. Okay, so let's go here. We have a simple thing here, so we can upload our mp3 file. Let's try that. Okay, so I found my cliff file here. Perfect, that looks good. Let's do the same point. Guy jumps from cliff into C below. Okay. Generate video. And now this is running. We can look at the back end now. We have started, perfect. So now we're just gonna let this run and hopefully when we get back, we can actually play the video in this format here. So I'm just gonna give this some time and we come back when we ho hopefully have a result here. Okay, processing complete. Here is our video. Uh, let's try to play this now. Perfect. Okay, so that's our app, right? Now we generated a front end for this. We can go back, generate another video. We can start over again. So you can see by following our workflow today in Gemini Pro, right? This turned out pretty good. And I think uh, we didn't get a lot uh, to, into a lot of issues because we provided all the context we needed and we kind of set up our workflow to, yeah, just uh, feed all the information we had that we knew about what we wanted to create. We did not tell uh, anything about the FFmpeg part and that is where we ran into a few issues, but where we provided relevant context, documentation, we had no issues at all. So I would say the only thing we struggled a bit with was some of the merging of the videos. Other than that, this went super smooth. I didn't spend a lot of time and now I kind of had the option to work more on the front end. Maybe I could add some music prompts here. 
we can display the video, maybe the extracted images, but for simplicity, we're just gonna keep it like this because I just wanted to show you kind of how this workflow can reduce your error rate by providing, like I said, relevant context. And I think this is just a nice way to get used to working with LLMs uh, if you have a project that requires this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully you learned something. I'm probably gonna do other videos on these types of workflows going forward. So look out for those. Other than that, have a great day and we speak again tomorrow.